Scad douche. Joy Moss, bad boy gaming. I know what you're thinking. What is this fool up to yet again? Well, we're back to repacks. Something I've been doing for like the last five years. I take a little, uh, little, uh, little escape from it every now and then. I go on hiatus for like a few months. But lately, someone had a good idea. You know, why don't we have patrons battle it out? And patrons seemed all for it. And the last repack we did was well worth the purchase. I think we ended up a hundred bucks above um, what we initially uh, initially put into it. So that was nuts. Uh, so kudos to the winner for that. Um, everything's being shipped, by the way, patrons, uh, this Wednesday. That's tomorrow. So here's what we got. Magic the Gathering, legendary repacks, MTG guaranteed value, read description. I saw Legends and I was like, all right, I'm a sucker, man. There's Vevictus Ve Asmati. I love that card. I like it so much, I got it in BGS 9.5. So he does have a bunch of Legends cards here. However, he did pluck uh, all the, like, I think he, he plucked, like, the top five or ten out of here. But, uh, yeah, these are the ones that are, uh, that are that, that do remain. I just sold one of these in 9.5. Unbelievable. <sighs> I lost money on that one. I know, I know, I know. But yeah, this is what we're doing, okay? So there, here's all the photos really quick. Just going to blaze through it. Uh, seller's name is Irk MTG. $45.95, you buy one, you save money if you buy uh, multiple. What I did, total came to $195.43. We purchased four of these. $195.43 out the door. Are we ready? Let me spend my money so you don't have to. I don't care if I do well in this or if patrons do well or if they do terrible. Guys, let me spend my money. Let, our, let, let the patrons spend their money. Let us spend our money so you don't have to, okay? I've already thrown away $10,000 probably, probably more than that, on repacks. It's, it's no joke, okay? Proceed with caution. The majority are a ripoff, okay? But some sellers, seems like they're stepping it up lately. So item description, I'm not going to just spend uh, way too much crazy time on this. If you really want to um, uh, have a look-see at it, just go to the go to the dude's uh, store and, yeah, give it a go. But I saw legendary repacks. What makes them legendary? Each repack will contain one card from the original 1994 Legends set. Pretty cool. That's, like, better than that Dominaria set or whatever. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, better odds. The condition of most of my cards vary from light play to near mint. However, some may be moderate play and very few will be heavily played. Okay, now if it is very drastic, then I will go and average like the last two sales if it's like heavily played, okay? But for the most part, I'm just going to use the market value. Again, if I do see significant damage, you know, or wear and tear and love then I, I will price it accordingly and get the average from the two most recent sales in that condition on TCG Player. Cool. I thought this was funny. I also want people to know the odds of what they might get. So when you do purchase a repack, I ask that you post the Legends card you received in your feedback. Also, please don't leave bad feedback if you get a Moss Monster. What are you trying to say, Bill? What are you trying to say? Why would I leave negative feedback instead of in a cold bolus? I mean, of course I'd rather have a monster. Are you silly? I've already randomized all the cards and will be putting them in each repack blind. Can you prove that? Did you twitch it live? So I have no idea which one you'll get. That's why it's repacks. Good. Okay, we're going to find out if it's worth it, man. Here is the entire list. Uh, again, you can go to the site if you really want to check it out. All right, it's, it's, it's extensive. We got four. Now, there were some freebies he said he would include if you, like, purchase so many. Um, so I will t also toss in an additional rare worth five or more for each two repacks you buy. Here's, I already opened it by accident. I didn't open, open it, open it. As you can see, they're all, they're still, they're still beautifully sealed right here. Okay. Have not gone through, have not touched. I thought it, I confused this for a collector box inside of like one of those manila envelopes. Anyway, long story short, that's it. So let's get up into this again. I've said it a billion times. Let us spend our money so you guys don't have to. If you see something cool, um, if you like it, great. Are you ready? We're going to battle it out, man. <sighs> Maybe I'll just go at market value. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Depends on how heavily played or moderately played. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Scott douche. Good luck to everyone involved in this. Oh, man. Fingers crossed. Zero.
basically 200 bucks. Don't forget, go back, check out this video because someone's gonna be taking home this Black Market Connections and the Scoots one in tomorrow's video. I'll be announcing who won that. It's crazy, I know. And uh, the video is worth watching. Also, oh I, oh, I didn't bring it down here. Oh, son of a beanbag. Uh, I bought 12 more of these. So we're going to do a huge battle with patrons. 12-way battle. I know, it's going to get kinky. But that's going to go down. I should be announcing that within like 48 hours or something. Okay, guys. Oh, man. I know, I took the tabernacle out. No worries, no worries, no worries. It was a little dinged up. It's okay. All right, so I guess this is a repack. This is a repack. Oh, that was easy. Okay, so these are the bonus cards. So what we got right here, Winter Orby. Very, very cool. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Winter Orb's a great card, man. Grizzly Bear, go growl. And then we have uh, Zat, Doom of Fools. Now, there are other cards besides Legends in here. Uh, he did state that. Are you guys ready? Let's do this, man. Oh, my gosh. Let's get ready to battle. All right. Dang, Yang, you're all the way in the end. All right, guys, girls, g gals, la ladies, germs, here we go. Oh, boy. I almost feel like I should put, like, a question mark on each one. <laughs> wow, it, it took a long time to get to this point. I'm going to shuffle up. Uh... And I mean, it doesn't matter when I stop. I think I'm going to flip a coin. If it lands on, this is a MetaZoo coin. We have MetaZoo. If it lands on a UFO, Card Freak gets it. Shrink. It rolled, and it's going to pull over here. It's not on the UFO. So Card Freak does not get it. So this one's going over here. You're going to get this. Flip. Same thing applies. It is not the UFO. So you're going to get this, you're going to get that. That's simple, baby. Here we go. TCG player market value pricing. I'm going to stick to market value pricing regardless of the condition of the card. I know some of you might be triggered by that, but I think it's the simplest way. I don't want anyone to be like, Joey Moss, that's near. That's, that, 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 there's no way that's light play. You know it's moderate, you bastard. You know, I don't want to hear none of that, okay? All right, card freak, here we go. So we're just going to stick to... Market value, TCG player. Card free, good luck. May the value forever be on your side. May the value forever be on your side. This is always always exciting, man. Uh, okay, okay. I, do we... Uh, uh, um, okay, I think we're just going to go like this. I don't know how this works. Bam! Nahiri, the lithomancer. We're like nine minutes in before we start cracking. This is bad. I'm going to really fast forward it and cut out a lot of stuff. There's Nahiri, the Lithomancer. Starting things out. Intruder Alarm. Okay. Got some things. Intruder Alarm. Card Freak. Nice little foil there. Oh, that I got to pay attention to these because that's got the old Stamparoo. See, so does this guy. Got to pay attention to that right there. Got to pay attention to that. I know, I know, I know. Could be like list stuff or, you know, it could be from a... Uh... Oh! Hold the fort. We just had like three cards in a row, basically ten dollars plus. Lucky. Slow down, pal. But really, what the heck's going on here? Um, I can't remember the name of this card, you know, but it's it's like a it's like a wannabe wolf. Who could tell me what creature type this guy is? Somebody has to know. It's a werewolf, stupid. Everyone knew that. Yeah, it's like I think it's like silver or something. I don't know. I can't remember. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I'm just going to go English version, by the way. Uh, there's Elvish Reclaimer. Sick little guy here. Very, very cool. Elvish Reclaimer, sure. Hey, there we have it. Uh, this would be from Ice Age. There we go. Almost got excited that it was Legends, but it's not. Someone, can, can you pronounce that? Marik Uri Barrett. She is a daisy, huh? She is a daisy. All right, fair. Knowledge Vault. From, there's our Legends pool right there. So there's Knowledge Vault. Pretty cool. Condition-wise, I mean, this one seems cool. This guy. Could you imagine? Can you imagine these were fake? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to get a little feel really quick, guys. I understand. Uh, just a, a quick little browse at the card. Just from the front, from what I can see. From the corners and the edges and all that stuff. I mean, at best, it's light play. 
more like moderate, okay? But for argument's sake, I'm just gonna roll with the market value across the board, all right? So the, the real price of this card is maybe 20 bucks, depending on condition. But I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm not gonna try breaking it all down. We're just rolling market value. Sorry, I know, I know, I know. I can get my, my muggy little fingers all over this. It's gonna pull it on down. It's gonna, it's gonna like, yeah, that's legit. Okay, we don't need to, we don't need to ding dang dong it anymore. There you go, knowledge vault. Okay, pretty cool. It's, we're all saying it, it's just going straight for market value. Cruffix, God of Horizons, very very sick. There you go. Um, he definitely loaded these up with some decent value. I'll say that. Maskwood Nexus. That just came out not long ago. Fair enough. Okay. All right, uh, card free. Guys, everyone, this has not been bad so far. Experience is pretty decent. Hey, a Lotus Field to close out the singles here. I'm not sure what this other little package is here, but we're going to crack that right now. All right, all right, let's see what we got here. Whatever this may be. Whatever this may be, it may be. Um, we, okay, foil golden egg. It's got to be uh, one buck and up. We're doing it like how we always do. All rare and... Uh, all rare and mythic will be factored in regardless of price, but if it's uncommon or common, it has to be nine, $1 or more. It's got the skibbish fist. Okay. And then we got ourselves the Coral Elm Chronicler. I don't think it's worth anything. But yeah, there you go. Coral Elm boy. Nightwind uh, Glider. Wow, from way back. Um, from Matt. Masks. There you go, from Masks. Matt. Masks. I can never say that. Mercadian Masks. Whatever. Masks. Matt. Matt. It's, it's weird. Nightwind Glider. Yeah, I love those retro frame foils, man. And Ruin Crab. Hey, man. Cool. You know, crabs will ruin your day. Okay. There you go. Ruin Crab. Very interested to see if this card's over a dollar now because for the longest time it was not. Okay. It was and then it was not. All right. So that is Card Freak. And Card Freak, there is your total as of right now. Sorry. This, this video was a little drawn out. I know. What? Okay. Here we go. Sean, good luck. Sean and Seaman, the Valley Forever be on your side, pal. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, just an update. Um, and I will also give out shout-outs uh, soon for um, everyone who donated to, to Neil um, to his amazing cause so he can make memories. He told me, uh, and, and he sent some photos, too. Um, he went to this. I don't know if he wants me to share them, so I'm, I'm, I may not do that. Or he might. I don't know. Um, he went to the circus with his family. How freaking cool is that, man? I always wanted to go to a circus. Never made it. Sean, good luck. Here we go. Wall of Vapor. Bada bang. He said that's like one of the first things he did. I was like, that's amazing, dude. Wall of Vapor. All right, all right. I was supposed to go in kindergarten, but then I got like kicked out, man. You're a liar. Nah, I was sick. And I tried pretending I was not sick. And my mom wasn't buying it. There's Wrath of God from Portal. Nope, not Portal. That is Wrath of God. Uh, the, the, re the reprinter. There you go. Could be list, could be mystery, whatever. Who knows? Wrath of God, though, from Portal. Urkel's Recall. You don't say. That is a good old reviser, though. Yep, that's revised. Okay. Still legit. We pulled this last time uh, from a different guy. All right. Urkel's Recall. From revised. Rune Scarred Demon. Is it scared? Like, is the demon scared of himself? I don't know. But there you go. From Iconic Masters. Why do car alarms keep going off in my neighborhood lately? No, that's not mine. Mine's stuck in the garage. There's Uthden Troll Boy. That is unlimited. Pretty cool. Tap, regenerate. Not even tap. Just pay one red. Regenerates, man. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, that is unlimited. I don't know why, but I think I'm psychic. I was thinking deep forest herpes before we started this. And there you go. Got crabs and herps, man. All right, we got the hermit boy. Along with Artai the Corrupted. Sweet. Wow, what a bunch of variety we got cooking here, man. And the quality's not too bad. I haven't really seen anything that's like beat up, you know, too bad. But, you know, a little bit of love, a lot of LP, moderate play. Uh, Artai the Corrupted. Sacrifice a creature or enchantment counter target spell. I think I thought this one went up a little bit recently. Maybe. I thought there was some hype around it. Wow. This is fun. Coma. Cosmo Serpent. Legit. All right. Well, we should be over here. We should be over here. Sean, sorry, man. All right, Sean. Cosmo Serpent, bro. That's a good card. 
Inspiring Statuary. Non artifact spells you cast have improvise. Good times. All right. The old statuary. Mm, and Frost Boil Snarl. I think I remember the first time I heard that, and I was like, that sounds like some really silly, like, snot rocket, you know, that, like, caught fire. I don't know, some weird, I don't know, Frost Booger. Okay. All right. What are you going to get out of here? Sean? Let's go. Shink. <sighs> Elemental Masterpiece Foil. I highly doubt that's worth a, worth a darn. All right, shrink. And there's 50 feet of rope. Just in case you want to go uh, scale that mountain. If you want to scale that cliff, there you go. There's 50 feet of rope for you. Figure of Destiny in foil. I pulled this from one of those. I pulled the entire foil deck. I can't think of the name of it for the me. But I thought it was the coolest thing, man. It came out of one of those commander cubes when the commander cubes were like really good back in the day. Figure of Destiny, Bada Skidding. And they were like only $19 at the time. Spectral Sliver. Yeah, he's got some real cool stuff. Man, I, I tell you. I know how to buy these wee packs these days. I'm telling you. I, I really stopped buying the ones that are garbage. But if you like really evaluate a seller and you're not just going for those gamble lottery cards, you're probably going to do okay. It's kind of like a safe safe bet, but again, guys, repacks are always a gamble. All right, Sean, there is your total, my good sir. Pretty cool. Man, so much crazy value up in here. I dig it. That troll seen somewhat better days, but again, we're still going to rock with uh, even Steven all the way down. Yeah. All right, guys, here's Preston. Preston, good luck. Ooh, oh doggy. Someone's like, let's talk. Shut up and open the pack. All right, here we go. I, I, seriously, though. Come on, guys. Seriously? Starfield Mystic. All up in ya. All right, this is for Preston. Preston Ma. Here we go. Preston. Preston, good luck. Great card. Great card. Fraying Sanity. This uh, just went up a little bit. It's like six bucks now. I think. No, it really, it, it's been slowly climbing. All right, I'll shut the hell up. Fraying Sanity. Obnexilis Unshackled. I used to be very disappointed when I pulled this. Because like it wasn't worth anything back then. But I think it's worth like a couple bucks now. So we got Unshackled. Brazen Outlaw. The Brazen Outlaw. Okay. We just got Braz on. That's weird. Dwarf. Dwarf Patroller. How come dwarves can't get plus one, plus one? You know? Sweet card. Scavenging Ooze. I remember when this card first got reprinted. <laughs> These were like 12 to like 20 bucks or something. For this version, uh, just it only lasted like a few days, but you know when it first dropped, there was a lot of excitement around the card. Slowly ticking on up, I'm sure. Hey, how are you today? There you go, Pavel Malaki, 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 like hi, like hi, who? For Deuce, plus one, plus zero until end of turn. He's got its own little fire breathing belt uh, built into him, but it's a little more pricey than fire breathing. Okay. Legends were so goofy, man. Decimate, the OG version of Decimate. This one got the reprint not long ago in Modern Horizon. No, Modern Double, Trip, Quadruple, something, Masters. All right, there's Decimate. Crosses the Purger. Dude, man, really, really neat selection of cards here, man. I, I, I don't even think I recall seeing this. I mean, I think I saw it once. It kind of reminded me of Lightning Dragon. Take a wild guess. That is sick, man. Crosses the Purger. Purchase just combat damage to a player. You may pay three if you do. Choose a color that player reveals his or her hand and discards a card. Wow, pretty neat. Yeah, this one uh, definitely has some love on here. Not, a, not, not actually, it's not too bad on the back. A little bit. See, I would consider that like moderate. You know, uh, maybe maybe HP, HP moderate. It's it's borderline. Someone's like, that's LP. Shut up. All right, and then we got coat of arms. Whoop! I didn't realize there was a card back there. We got coat of arms. Not bad. Definite value coming out of these. And Command Beacon. Okay. I think we should be opening this first, but we already went this far. All right. What else are you going to get here, Preston? I'm impressed. Sorry, guys. I kind of, I do have to slow play just for, like, the value of the cards. Got to put it on the screen. Dead Reveler and Foil. Shrink. Master Symmetrist. 
I like that. It shines very nice. I don't know why. I like Eureka came to mind. That's green, I guess. All right, shrink. Wayward Guide Beast. There was hyper on this guy too. Not so much anymore. I remember saying this card sucks. <laughs> All right, and then we got uh, the old Silver Quill, Pledge Mage, sure. That'd be cool if we pull a sick sliver, you know? And there's Divine Smite. Smite him with you keep, uh. All right, and that's going to close that one out. Very interesting, very interesting. Do I have to note anything here? Are there any cards that we pulled that? Nope. No mystery box stuff here. Okay. All right, Preston, there is your total, man. Here we go. Yang! Dang, Yang, we saved you all the way for last, bro. Here we go. Do your thing, Yang. Good luck. I got a lot of exercise today. I feel like four or five hours, man. Sweating my butt off. It felt amazing. Shed weight like crazy. All right, we're going to actually open this first. Doing things backwards here. Ever since I was born. <laughs> Snow-covered forest. Very nice. In the foil. Pretty, pretty. This one's for Yang. Rupture Spire. That's something like that Sliver set or whatever. I can't remember what it's called, but something like that. There you go. Rupture Spire. Ruined Halo. Prom um, that's the promo version, or like uh, the pre-release version. It's even got a state on there. June 2020. Wow. Man, I remember this card was like dirt cheap. It was like 50 cents, and it might be like two, three bucks now. Ruined Halo. Seriously busted card. <sighs> this guy always disappointed me. If there's one thing he did well, it was disappoint me. <laughs> and I always try running him in my deck, too. It just, it just, I don't know. Some guys just have all the luck and some don't, you know. It just never worked out for me. Dude, you guys hear that? What's going on? That's like the third time today. Malika Rebirth, sick art, man. Okay, very, very cool. Court of Grace to start things off for Yang. Yang, I, I, I hope I hope you leave happy and pants. Here we go. Court of Grace. Showing on up. You could be Monarch, dude. Oh, we'll be, we're going to be on this side. Teferi's Ageless Insight. I believe there's two or three different versions of this, so i got to make sure I uh, creep the scene. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Collective Brutality. Wow. I'm going to hit the bell, but I'm sure this has tanked. And I think they had a reprint. Was a time thirty dollar card, and I remember when I was first cracking these. When the set, it was like the set it just came out, and um, I want to say it was only like three bucks or something. And I, I remember talking smack on a forum. I, I used to be so arrogant, uh, but now I'm, I'm very chill now. Like I, I definitely hold back a lot. But I remember going on the forum like, "Man, collective brutality is going to be like a twenty dollar card." Bet, and everyone called me an idiot. Also, like the same thing with uh, they're gonna make an actual Urza Planeswalker with like by, I think I said by 2022 or something like that. I think I was off by a year or oh, was it 2021? I can't remember, but if someone knows and it was in that Facebook group, that's insane. It was MTG Rocks, and then MTG Rocks banned me. I was advertising and promoting myself, they'll never unban me, they hate me everywhere I go. Collective Brutality, Mana Flare, Bada Bang. Oh, that's um, Collective Brutality, gotta have, gotta point out the stamp there. There you go. That matters, guys. Mana Flare. I forget over revised. Pretty cool. Christopher Rush art, man. Dope. Oh, Tarmy Goyf. See, like that? That's beat up, man. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to call that. That's like damaged, you know? But definitely HP, without a doubt. HP to, to damage. When you see like a tear like that or, you know, a lot of white showing, not good. Tarmy Goyf. Yeah, boy! Who remembers when I destroyed that freaking Tarmogoyf on camera? Oh, my God! The set just came out. It was, what, Double Masters? Oh, wow. Ultimate Masters. It was a box topper goyf. And at that time, it was like 200 plus. I'm like, oh, my God. And I chopped it in half. People cried. People unsubbed. I mean, they were rioting in the streets. They were trying to tear down Watsi. It was insane, man. All right, there's Tarmogoyf. <laughs> Righteous. Avengers from Legends. Go Planeswalk. Super de duper. This has been a lot of fun. And like, it almost reminds me of like a random buy. It is a random buy, but like, it reminds me of like if I were to hit up a Goodwill or something, which I've never once ever come across anything in a Goodwill. I don't think I have. I found some stuff at estate sales. I found some good buys like 
uh, on uh, on eBay, random pet, you know, purchases and all that stuff and collections. Um, some stuff on Etsy, yada yada. Uh, Craigslist as well. Just I I never ever get lucky with the Goodwill stuff, man. Even Salvation Army, like. <laughs> I don't, I feel like it's a waste of my time even to go in there because I feel that the employees are already plucking it. And I'll tell you one thing: here in Ohio, it's cold as crap, man. Well, if you let it, if you let the crap sit for a while, it's really cold. And uh, I'll tell you what: there is a huge Magic the Gathering following and player base in Parma, Ohio. That's where I grew up. Like it is like widespread brutality, man. A lot of people play Magic in Parma, Ohio, and Parma, Ohio is one of the ten biggest suburbs. In the U.S., it's a big boy. Yeah. Well, there's Righteous Avengers, Team or Ascendancy. There was a point to that story. I can't remember what it was, but <laughs> Team or Ascendancy showing on up. Okay, cool. Any damage on the back here? Yeah. See, I mean, I mean, I feel that's heavy, dude. I feel that's heavy, bro. But we're just gonna say it's all the same. Uh, ascendancy. All right, Yorian Sky Nomad. Cool. All right, and the foil. Not only that, it's got the old date on it. You know what that means. That's right. Pre-release. Wow, 2020. It's been that long since Ikoria came out. That's nutty. Solemn Simulacrum. Would have been cool to get a foil like that. You know, times are remastered. Pretty nice. All right. I can never say that dude's name right. <laughs> he looks like that one comedian, doesn't he? Stop it. He looks just like him. I can't think of the guy's name, but he looks like him. I swear. And Temple of Malice. Temple of Malice. I don't know why I feel like that one was weaker, but maybe um, some of the older cards are worth a bit more. Okay. All right. So here are the totals. Boy, that was a longer video. I did not mean to drag it out, guys, but I just got carried away. I'm sorry. If you enjoy my stupid rambling, I mean, that's cool because, like, I mean, I, I do it for you. I, mean, <laughs> I like to think I'm doing it. Probably not. If, if, I, if this lands on the UFO... We're going to be invaded within 20 years. Duck and Kaba. We are aliens. All screwed. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. Congrats to the winner. If you're not subs subscribed and made it this far in the video, that is amazing. Kudos. Right, congrats on you. Uh, yeah, this is this was pretty. this was pretty fun, man. I'd give it two thumbs up again, you know? Just stay away from those stupid lottery style like repacks. Those are terrible. If it's like two, three dollars a repack, dude, like you're you're gonna get like fifty cents worth of value if you're lucky. Stay away from the really low ball ones. Read the entire description, you know. But also, don't even mess with this stuff. Let us suckers throw our money away. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Let's go, douche. Get the